Oh, my name is Norma Howard and I'm 101 years old. I just turned 101 in November, November the 2nd. I think I was about eight when I come to Mirabra and uh, attended the Newtown School, which is now Mirabra West. My eldest sister was offered a job and she wanted to stay at school and, and learn. And I said, I'll take it, which was the worst thing I ever did <laughs> because I didn't uh, learn enough. So I left and started a job. And I suppose I might have only been 14 food factory and I worked um, in the food department filling uh, packets with jelly and custard and flour and labelling all the bottles and everything like that. But uh, when I first came to Mirabra we lived on the corner of Cheapside and Woodstock and then Dad built a house in Palace Street and then we lived there until I got married. My husband and I did a lot of dancing we had some nice friends dance for years. We used to go out to the country every weekend. And we never went for competition or anything, just all nice ballroom dancing. And then a bit later, not long before we gave it all away, there was a lot of people came up from this Victoria and that, and they were doing a lot of new vogue dancing. And my husband, and we got friendly with some of them, and my husband and I got, uh, went dancing with them and they taught us a lot of the new Vogue dancing, which was very nice too. But I still have three friends that, we, that play cards every Saturday morning, one another's places. So, and those friends, are two of them, are uh, the ones we used to dance with, so we've been friendly with them for donkey's years but they're, all the husbands have passed away, yeah, yeah, so one after the other. I think we wore them out, <laughs> dancing. <laughs> My husband had planted a hoop pine and he planted it in a, a cask out there and as it grew, every year we'd drag it in from out there, which was a ton weight, into here and light it all up with the, and, we, and the, Kiddies used to put cotton wool on there to represent the snow and all the lights and presents and everything like that. Every year we did that. It was a work of art getting it in and then out again. But it was very lovely. We had Christmas, lovely Christmases then. We went, always went over to my mother and father's place for Christmas dinner. And my father was the cook. <laughs> he, he did all the cook, the ham and the chooks and maybe mum did the veggies and that, and, and of course he put the plum pudding on too and everything. It's with all the, the thrippances and all the little bits and pieces in, I think somewhere in, the, in this house there's a few of those little things still here. But I wouldn't be going to put them in a pudding now because I might choke somebody. They might know they're there. <laughs> I generally make a Christmas cake, but I'm not making one this year. I, too much work. Well, I don't know, you buy all this stuff for, for doing one thing and then you don't use it again and you've got to end up throwing it out. And anyway, I haven't got the patience or something this year. Just wish everybody Merry Christmas, a happy and a healthy one. Yes, yes.